Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here, and this week I'm going over a fantastic little plugin called Bycraft. It's an automated donation plugin that automatically syncs with your server. People donate, and then it automatically gives them whatever you want, runs any server command, anything you want to the user automatically. You don't need to do anything. You just set it up and go. Um, it's, yeah, so help them out. It's free. Uh, for basic functionality, you can go premium, and it's uh, it's a little bit per month, and um, you get you can have more packages. You have a little bit more uh, uh, more versatility out of, but it's already extremely versatile plugin. So help them out. Go create an account, get a premium membership. Help me out by using the link in the description for setting that up. Also help me out by throwing a comment and a like below. Um, if you run into problems, I'll do my best to answer those. Feel free to post them in the bottom, and uh, I'll, let's get into it. So you download this bar Bycraft. Well, first thing you want to do, create your account on the Bycraft.net, and it'll have you set up uh, your gateway. You know your uh, server address. It'll want you to set up your server name, um, the PayPal account. There's a ton of different accounts that you can link up to it. Like I said, it's very versatile. They're updating it every single day. So here's the server. This is a test one, and then this secret key is what's important. Now, don't worry. I'm deleting this after I've recorded this, so you're not going to get any of my stuff. But um, that's the secret key, and this is what you will put in your server once you get your server up and running. So let's go ahead and do that real quick here. Let's start up our server. Okay, well let's let's hop in the game real quick. Okay, so here we are in the match here or in your your new server. And basically what you want to do is buy craft secret and then the crazy long code that it gave you. So there we go. So uh, server authenticated buy craft to confirm. So now we haven't set up any packages yet. Um, so we're going to leave this here and then we're going to go set up some packages, but it, it tells you your server ID, everything in here. This basically just means, Hey, it's connected. So let's hop back over. I'll show you a little bit of the packages you can set up here. Okay. Here we are back in our console. Uh, we got the secret key that we put in there. Don't give that out to anybody in your payment settings. You also set up your PayPal, anything else in there. General settings is, uh, it's the name of the you know, the domain. Side note, if you own your own domain, you can set up a C name uh, for this. And like, for instance, ours is store.micfriends.us. So what you do is you go into your domain, instead of creating an A record, like you do for, you know, game.micfriends.us or whatever, you do a C name, do store, and then for what it points to, it's going to it have it point to uh, whatever this subdomain is that you set up. So, Side note on how to set up a C name. That's pretty nice. There's also themes in here. You can set up your own themes. You can do modules. Um, there's a lot of fun stuff. Just look around here. We want to go over to packages. So we want to create a new package. And so we're going to just do this. And here is the stuff. All right. So we don't have a category set up, but you can have different categories. Like if you ever go to a store like mine, I have a VIPs, I have an items, and then I have pets. And there's all different things. You can put all, anything in any category. You can also make people require to have a category or already have a package. And then you just put the price in here. If you want it to expire, you put that in there. And then you can uh, you can do stuff like have the customer pay how much ever they want. Maybe you just want to do a straight donation, have people donate however much they want. Um, you can have require the user to be online to execute the commands. Then Bycraft will wait for the person to be online before it executes those commands. So expiry, this is the command that will run once the package has expired. The initial is the first command. Chargeback, refunds, this is what is run when people do a chargeback or a refund. Um, but we're going to do just initial. We're just going to do slash, give, and then there's a some variables uh some default ones that you want to use mainly the name so give um cause for christ uh i don't know what is it um we'll go stone 
one stone and then you want it to check for that server so add package so we've added that package here's where you can create your categories here's also this is a random side note variables are fantastic if you want people to be able to select the color that they want or the type of like how much of an item they want and you just you don't want to have like a bunch of different stuff in your stores you can do this where you can do uh basically the identifier so like we did that uh squiggly line squiggly line name now this will be squiggly squiggly color and then you just want to put in a description you have the type of drop down and then we'll just do for oops so the value is whatever value it is and then i believe that's red and then it can cost two dollars so then you can add, uh, I don't even know all of these off the top of my head. I think that's teal. Maybe have it cost less for teal or something. So now we've added the variable. What is this? The values, names. Oh, here we go. There we go. Okay. So now we've added a variable. So now when you create another package with that variable, you're going to add package. Uh, name colors name and I don't really have any plugins that this runs with so um, I don't know if if it was uh, be pex user name uh, prefix wait yeah yeah that's what I want prefix and then uh, color so now that that would change their name um, since I'm using since I usually use permissions X that changes their name uh, to be that color. So then you add that package. So now let's go ahead and look at what that looks like. So that's mcfriends one dot dot net. And there we go. Now we have on categories category and then, you know, my username is all you know is cause for Christ. So now we got uh, basic, you can do more info, uh, but you can add it. And then uh, what it'll do is it'll run it against your username. Or you can do add and then you can show choose whatever color you want. And then it's gonna do that. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's pretty complex, very versatile. There's a lot of stuff you can do. You can do coupon codes. You can hide coupon codes on your server. You can have, and those coupon codes can expire or only been used by so many people. You can keep track of your payments of your users. Like I said, fantastic little plugin. Um, the one thing to note is once you've loaded up all these packages, you got to go back into your server, do slash buy craft space reload, and it'll just resync all of those packages. So that's it. Hey, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the, uh, leave them below. And, um, if you run any problems, I'll do my best to answer those. Hey, if you found this video helpful, click a like. If you want to try Biocraft out, use my uh, referral link in the, in the description. Help me out as I help you out as we all help Biocraft out. So this is Cos from McFriends, and as always, enjoy the game. Hey friends, what's up? Cos here. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to respond to some of your comments. It's only going to be a few of them, so here we go. Uh, default port forwarding is 8192. Always leave the Vodafire IP 0.0.0. .0. Otherwise, you're running a problems. You can always change that later. Hey, shout out to XBizarreHD, friendserver.bounceme.net. Check it out. I haven't checked it out, but uh, best of luck to you. Have fun. Uh, it's in your multiverse configuration file. It's your prefix chat. Go turn that to false. Done. That's just mean. He's your brother. So that's all I got time for now this week. Next week, hopefully I get to some more. Hey, make your comments interesting if you want uh, to show up on here. But this is Cosmic Friends, and as always, enjoy the game.